Oh, you hear that? You already know what time it is. But, but anyways, uh, <laughs> hey, what's good, guys? No filter here. Back with another video. So today we're gonna be taste testing and reviewing these sorbot cinnamon rolls, and we're gonna tell you which one's best for your butt. So with that being said, let's set it up. Let's get into this. Let's get cinnamon rolling. So we're gonna start off. with the little Cinnabon Bites. They're not even Cinnabon Bites, they're the ones from Walmart, and these are from Ikea. <laughs> Believe it or not, Ikea got some cinnamon roll, little bites. Yeah, but let's get the milk in. Honestly, two things that make cinnamon rolls even better is if they're heated up and you got milk. Bon appetit. <laughs> We're gonna start off with the Walmart. Wow, heat it up. Doughy, got a nice little hint of the cinnamon glaze. Okay. Now with some milk. Oh, there's nothing like it. That milk is different. And then now onto these Ikea ones. At the end of the video, we're gonna tell you which top three. Let's do it. You can see there's no glaze. Just straight cinnamon. I mean, it's a definitely a healthier option. <laughs> but when you're having cinnamon rolls, are you really trying to be healthy? He's got a point. We have a lot of cinnamon rolls to get through, so we're just gonna be taking bites. Yeah. And then next, we got another one from Walmart. You can't see it. They call this the Persian cinnamon roll. Persian. Straight from Persia, baby. It's pretty much, oh, wow. Now oh, that's great. Uh, if you just didn't see all that, the fucking frosting came off. Damn, this shit is hard. But hey. Try it out either way. My ass is gonna just put the frosting on top. It just straight up came off. But anyways. That's how it looks. First bite without. Unanimous decision. That was the worst one out of the bunch. Hands down. Don't even need it. Now, this one. Damn. This one looks good as fuck. Size has some cinnamon on it. Oh my god, on the end. But you guys already know first bite without milk. The dough has a little bit of crust to it, but once you take that first bite, it comes pillowy. The glaze complements with the cinnamon because it's just drenching right in the middle. Oh my God. It's almost like a croissant -like type dough. Oh my God.
Wow. Oh, and that last one came from Seder Bros, by the way. Just want to let you know. Wow, this one just looks... You know what? I'm going to save that for later. Because I'm having a big hint. But hey, next one. Jeez, all of them just look... They all have their own little personality traits. Mm. Okay. This one is from Rouse. I actually smart final thing. Mm. That'll take your life. This the dough. You're chewing in, you're like, damn, I'm making the worst decision. <laughs> this is so good. Like the dough is doughy, pillowy, the bread is chewy. That's what's different from all the ones I've recently tasted. Like this, I don't know what they're using, but one of the chewiest and gooeyest cinnamon and rolls yet. Get it all away from me. Bruh. I just went to heaven and back. Yeah, I, I yeah, those I gotta throw away. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Now. I keep putting that one back, but yeah, this has like a nice glaze on it. If you can't see, it's like squared off in the hall on it. It's pretty cool. Yo, oh, we need milk. He needs some milk. Back to it. So this cinnamon roll is from Ross. This is the Ross one. You already know the deal, you already know the drill. First bite without. I don't even get any cinnamon roll on it, but. There's so many ways of eating cinnamon roll. Like people start at the end and then start peeling it. People just go straight in the middle like I'm about to do. I was just trying to do it different ways. And then people just straight up, just raw dog life and just pick it up. People like living life on edge. <laughs> yeah, but. My God. Wow. Hmm. Hard on the outside, and then soft in the inside. The cinnamon rolls reminded me of myself. <laughs> Damn, that's bomb as fuck. I'm about to kill that. Okay. And then now, just look at that. That straight up looks like out of a commercial or like. Yeah. Oh my god. If only you guys could see what I'm seeing right now. Bruh. That gooeyness. The frosting already. Oh. My 
my god. Yeah. I know. This one, instead of a vanilla frosting, has cream cheese on top. Which just gives it a whole different, whole different flavor. Yeah, like this whole, this whole cinnamon roll tastes like a center, like the core, like all gooey, all pillowy, all delectable. This shit is delicious. Now you know why. Yeah, you know why I waited. Oh my god. And I totally forgot where I picked this one up from. Damn. Oh, and you already know, we went straight for the heart. We don't play no games. Top three. <laughs> and then the last one. Jeez, where did I get that one from? I think I got it from Stater Bros or Albertsons. Though that one, yeah, because it came in that red box. That red box, I locked it. I was like, oh this shit looks quality B. <laughs> but you know what? The only way I haven't done it. Oh my god. Let's do it. It's not the best, and it's also not the worst cinnamon roll I've tried. Definitely mid. <laughs> Okay, so with that being said, let's get into the ones that are worth it. Um, you already know. Those are Albertsons. The Ralphs. And geez, believe it or not, the Walmart. These are good. These are really good. I couldn't use the doughy one because it, it just tasted like I'm making a mistake. <laughs> the one I was talking about is the super yeah, pillowy one. Yeah. But top three. So if you want a cinnamon roll, go pick it up at Albertsons or Walmart. And you know which ones. This is my honest review, but again, it's my opinion, but with no filter. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys like it. Follow, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for tuning in. This is No Filter out.